So there are these people that live among us that, uh, that are so important and so revered that when you come into their presence, you have to bow or curtsy to them. You can't touch them, you can't put, you know, a commoner can put their hand on them or, or approach them, you know, in any way. You, you can't sit in their seat. A friend of mine uh, worked at Buckingham Palace in London uh, over the Christmas, over his uni holidays, and uh, he said you couldn't sit in the throne, in the Queen's throne. It was a treasonous act and you could be hanged for it. You, you know, these, these people, these royal people who are better than us, they, one of them gets a crown, which is like a hat that only they get to wear. Like, it's their hat, it's a special hat, and only the Queen gets to wear the hat. I'm not even making this up, this is dress up, adult style. If, if you can't quite grasp what it's like to have a royal person in charge of your country, it's like if you have a, if you live in a country now where uh, your head of state is a president or a prime minister, it's like from this day on, when their tenure runs out or when their presidency runs out or whatever, they're just going to stay on. And they're going to stay on until they die. And die, their son or daughter is going to become the leader. Unelected, again, um, just by virtue of being having mum or dad who is the king or the queen right now. And the best part is, if you're the queen of England, then you're actually the queen of 16 other countries as well. My queen, the queen of Australia, is a kind great-grandmother who lives in England on the other side of the world. The head of state of my country isn't, isn't an Australian, it's an old English lady who I'm sure is really nice, but she's not Australian and she doesn't live in Australia. And even if you are a royal, or a part of the royal family, some people in your family are more important than you too. So if you're the second boy born into the family, you've got no chance of being the king, or you know, you're, you're well down in line, including if your big brother has a baby boy, he's in charge of, like he's in front of you as well in the line to wear the hat. I mean, there's just so much about this. This is just ridiculous. But the biggest nonsense about the whole thing the whole notion that if you are somebody who believes in royalty, then you are also, you must first, to, to believe in this rubbish, you must first accept that some humans are born with a greater value than you. Some people are more important than you. Some people are more valuable than you. Some people are, deserve better than you because of some accident of birth, some genetic accident that they happen to be born into that family or into that place, wherever it is in the world, they are more important than you. Which means they are also more important than your children. You think that somebody's children are more important and have greater value than your children. And I'm sorry, but if you think that, then you deserve to be someone's loyal subject.